Hello to you. I hope that you're not too bad as you look in. Join me in this little chat and we'll have a Bible reading and, and some prayer and some healing, of course. Um, all according to our Christian spiritualist understandings. And uh, I thought it would be very nice to think about how we need to uh, have some forgiveness in our hearts in order to relieve ourselves of some of the burden that we carry that is could attribute to feelings of anger, even hatred, or prejudice any kind of bigotry that we're carrying around with ourselves we need to get rid of that don't we and uh, I thought one of the best um, expositions of that how to attain a happier state of mind was in the Sermon on the Mount that Jesus gave to many 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 hundreds of people who gathered to hear his words and uh, it's so good and of course you could say that he was relaying the message the communication from spirit from the great spirit that we called father Abba uh, to all the people who were gathered what I must say too is that all those people were Jews and he was speaking to Jews and uh, unfortunately uh, Christianity itself has been responsible for spreading uh, anti-Jewish feeling that has led to massacre and murder torture expulsion all those things for the Jews as a people and even those who complain about listening to foreign languages on their streets do they really think that if Jesus was walking around say for instance in England today uh, yes of course he would speak in our language in order to accommodate us but his native language was not English so it would just sound like a babble to us. Well, having said that, I'd like to uh, read for you from Matthew's Gospel, where he re reports what Jesus said in that, what is now being called the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus said, you've heard that it was said an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the evil man who injures you. But if anyone strikes you on the right jaw or cheek, turn to him the other one too. If anyone wants to sue you and take your undershirt or tunic, let him have your coat also. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to him who keeps on begging from you. And do not turn away from him who would borrow from you. You have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbour and hate your enemy and that was said in Leviticus 19 Psalms 139 but I tell you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you referring to Proverbs 25 to show that you are the children of your father who is in heaven for he makes his sun rise on the wicked and on the good and makes the rain fall upon the upright and the wrongdoers alike for if you love those who love you, what reward can you have? Do not even the tax collectors do that? And of course, one of his apostles was a tax collector. And if you greet only your brethren, what more than others are you doing? Do not even the Gentiles do that? You therefore must be perfect, growing into complete maturity of godliness in mind and character, having reached the proper height of virtue and integrity, as your heavenly Father is perfect. 
and uh, here he refers to Leviticus chapter 19 verses 2 and 18 and then he talked about not doing good deeds in public well, of course you know lots of us do, do try and do good generally um, but he was talking about people that make a big show of it and then we come to the wonderful part where he says when you pray do not heap up phrases multiply words repeating the same ones over and over as the Gentiles do for they think they'll be heard for their much speaking and he refers there to Kings uh, 1 Kings uh, chapter 18 25 to 29 he says, do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. Well, we understand that, don't we? Our prayers are in our heart, get heard. Pray therefore like this. So do join me in what we now call the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed and kept holy be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. And we should give up that resentment against them. And leave us not when in temptation, Lord, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So, you know, the thing is this, that if you, if, as, it's, as he was saying, if you forgive people their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. He says, but if you do not forgive others their trespasses, uh, neither will your Father forgive you your trespasses. Well, um, you know, the point is this, that of course we, <laughs> we understand as spiritualists, that uh, as long as you forgive people, it's sufficient. And uh, we, we can't get into their heads and make them forgive us for anything that we've done wrong against them. But if everybody followed that, if everybody forgave everybody their trespasses against them, then we would all be free. And I think that's just a marvellous... Um, marvellous precept to live by the thing is this with, with so much focus these days as well on mental health issues uh, what what impinges most I think on our mental health is our feelings of guilt and worry about what we've done wrong in our lives what we've done wrong to the next person especially if it's somebody close to us and yet if we can find it in our hearts to forgive ourselves as God will forgive us and uh, we will feel that much better so really do try and when you do say that that Lord's Prayer really think about what it means and uh, know that you will be forgiven for your trespasses as long as you sincerely are sorry that's the point you see one has to be sincerely sorry um, and as I mentioned, uh, this will be quite a short uh, talk because uh, analytically speaking, uh, we tend to not really concentrate longer than a few minutes. So uh, I'll also leave you with a healing prayer. Dear Lord, we ask in the name of love and truth and light for healing to be given to ourselves dear Lord for all our aches and pains and ailments and then to our dear ones our close ones we ask you dear Lord to deliver them from their pain and suffering to give them a recovery to give them balm for their suffering to ease their 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 souls of any torment they might have especially that that is hidden from others we ask, dear Lord, for our animals, that they be given love and healing too. We ask, of course, for all those who have charge over this world, 
that they find healing in their hearts and understand that only by giving out healing can they receive healing themselves. We ask, dear Lord, all these things in your name, in love and light and truth. Amen. Now, I hope that you feel a little better now, a little bit uplifted, and uh, I'll speak to you again soon. God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you.